Hey guys, this is Paulina Bright and today I decided to make a short tutorial, I think. Um, I think that's the first video with my voice. <laughs> so I have received lots and lots of questions about how how I work with pencil and watercolor, with pen and watercolor, how the pencil doesn't mix with what watercolor, how they don't smudge and how the pen read uh, when I work with watercolor over it. So today I will show you all my sketchbooks that I have found, um, all my pencils that I use, my pens, and we will see how, how they work on each paper, how they work with watercolor, and we'll see which get mixed and which are not. So let's start with the first one, with the first sketchbook they have, that's uh, Windsor and Newton. So um, this one have, uh, this one is a watercolor sketchbook, uh, 200 GSM watercolor paper, 100% cotton. So I usually use this one for my sketches, for, yeah, sketches, larger, for larger pieces and other things so another one that I have is Arches watercolor sketchbook I usually don't use this one yeah uh, but yeah this one has um, uh, it has its medium 300 GSM watercolor paper 100% cotton it's quite I can say it's quite textured really nice so another one i have i don't use this but i have it so this one is um watercolor 300 gsm medium as well yeah it's more smooth than uh arches watercolor paper also i have a bamboo watercolor sketchbook it's 110 GSM so another one mm, this one is Stillman and Burn Delta series so this one is 200 GSM mixed media paper so we will try this one as well um, also I have a just drawing paper never use this one but we'll try it this is my favorite one that I use for my large pieces for my for all my grading works for everything what you see in my Instagram I use this paper so this is cancel Molendroy freehanded GSM 100% cotton paper I really love it, just love it. It really fits, excellent fit my my style. So another one, Canson, uh, Molin Droy, but it, this one is um, satin paper, hot pressed, 300 GSM. So the, the one that I use is cold pressed paper, this one is hot pressed. So it's really smooth, has a really nice, nice feel. So I really like it. And the last one, that's my regular sketchbook that, that I use for my commission works, my sketches, some practice. Yeah, everything is here. So this one is, it's called Elements of Art. As I remember, it cost like <coughs> six dollars, six or eight dollars. Really cheap. And it's 150 GSM cartridge paper. So really great for for any sketches. As for my mediums, I usually use Stadler pencils. So this one. 
it. As for the pens, I use, I think, uh, a regular one, Pilot GTX C4. Um, also, Copic Multiliner. It's Warren Copic proof, so really good to work with uh, any paint, especially watercolor. And Stadler um, Pigment Liner. So, let's begin. Uh, I will begin with the uh, arches watercolor paper. It's medium texture, 300 GSM. So I will use, so I'll just draw lines and then watercolor over it so we can see how it works. Yep. Yeah. So let's begin. So I have four arch pencil, I have 2B pencil, and uh, I have 5B pencil. So we'll do the first one is 4H. So the paper is really textured, so you can hear the sound. So the first one was 4H, now it will be 2B. Yep, and and five B. I don't really remember when was the last time I have used arches. Yeah, so I don't really like it. I bought uh, last year. I bought a big uh, paper roll, so about me one meter hate and it was about 10 meters long so it's, I still have it because I don't use it I don't really like how it works for my style how it works with watercolor I prefer Canson so and also we'll try pens so the first one will be Copic Multiliner Pilot pen and styler uh, pigment liner. Yep. So now I will use I will paint with watercolor over each of these lines so I will use my favorite one watercolor uh, it's Van Gogh uh, paints gray and also I will use Schmincke uh, brilliant purple also I use a uh, synthetic uh, brush of my brand but in a bright brand and you can find it in my store so I will just put the link in the description of this video so you can check it out I really I love it how it works with uh, watercolor how the wear holds in this brush so it's just just amazing so let's start so the first one we will try um, for ash pencil on uh, medium texture watercolor paper 300 GSM yeah. So you can see that it works pretty good. Now I'm mixing pencil and watercolor, they don't mix. Pencil doesn't smudge or anything. Yeah, good. So the second one is to be pencil. This one uh, I use usually for my. Uh, for my all my sketches and for my gradient works where I keep the pencil and I usually don't erase it I just keep it under the color under the work color yeah the same good so 
so we just can see that uh, the paper the paper uh, absorbs pencil really good it takes pencil really good so it doesn't smudge and the last one is a uh, 5B pencil yeah quite good too but I can see that yeah it mixed a little bit yeah because the pencil is really really soft I can see that it just a little bit mixed with the watercolor but you won't see it in your work I don't think that it will really affect your work so now let's try with the pens so the first one is Copic Multiliner yeah good good I really like how this one works yeah so it just shows that the, these are shows the quality of the paper and how it takes the pen ink and also the watercolor so the next one is pilot pen so here we can see that uh, I think I can say that yeah yeah it definitely mix with watercolor I think you can see it here on the edges yeah that the ink bleeds and it just mix yeah not good and the last one is styler pigment liner yeah this one this one works good yeah great so everything is great except the, my regular pen the pilot pen so it just do not absorb this well to the paper yeah so all the kind of pencils are good yeah so we have tried 4H, 2B and 5B they're all good yeah 5B just a little bit maybe just a little bit mix with watercolor but works good yep so let's try another one so this one I have is a uh, Rauda de Paolo watercolor paper 300 GSM uh, I think I don't remember uh, where did I get it from definitely I definitely didn't buy it but maybe someone sent it to me maybe it was a present I have never used it so we can we will now together see how this works with the pen and pencils and watercolor so for us to be 5b Uh, now it's multiliner, Copic, then pilot, and Stadler. Okay, so now let's see. Oh, I think we can try just the more colorful <laughs> watercolor I don't want it to be too dark just really light and pastel so you can see how it works with with pen and pencil yeah so let's see Yeah. 
four ash works really good with this one two B works good as well so it really really depends on what pencil or uh, paper you use so I usually work on a watercolor paper so uh, I think it depends how thick the paper is I have received lots of questions but it's really hard to help you in the comments because I don't know what you use how you use um, what paper you use yeah what it can be just the regular printing paper or uh, drawing paper that is not for watercolor maybe that's the problem so we, we will see yeah. And yeah I can say that all three types of pencils works really well on this paper as for the pen yeah good So that this one is yeah this one is waterproof multi liner so I think it should work well on each paper that will that we'll see after that we'll try after but now pilot pen yeah it it mix with watercolor as well here yeah, I think you can see so on the edges yeah we, you can see how the ink bleeds and styler here yeah, styler pigment liner that's yeah, good yeah you can see that on this paper uh, the pilot pilot pen really 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 bleeds a lot that's not good okay mm -hmm. let's try another one so this one I have this bamboo watercolor paper 110 uh, GSM I also have never used this one I remember I bought it I wanted to try it but really didn't have time I think so let's try <coughs> for ash to be and 5b pencil so I <coughs> have chose um, I've chosen this type of pencils just for you to see how how it works with yeah from from hard pencil to really really smooth pencil yep let's try it Yeah, four ash pencil works good. So usually, usually uh, hard pencils work the best if you want to use watercolor all over them. With the smooth ones, it usually depends on the paper. So here I can see that. Uh, the bamboo paper is really thin and it's not really for watercolor painting just for I think for sketches and drawing so I can see that uh, the smooth the smooth pencil mix with watercolor a lot so it just means that the paper doesn't take the pencil
We have a multiliner, Copic multiliner is quite good. Pilot pen, <clears throat> still I can see that it mixed a little bit, but it definitely works better than a, on a Heraldi de Power more color paper. You can see it here, so it just yeah, lets a lot of bleed. So on the bamboo paper, it works better. Yeah. The paper is really really thin yeah just to compare uh, I will show you the difference yeah so uh, here is the bleeding so here is a little bit better so another one that I have is Stillman and Burn mixed media paper, 270 GSM, so it's thicker than bamboo paper, but thinner than uh, watercolor paper that I have tried before. I really like mixed media paper. <coughs> I used to. I used to draw it in, um, I think when I just started drawing all my sketches, floral or any other. So I have tried everything to draw everything in it and it worked really, really well. When we're talking about pens, pencils and watercolor. Let's see. So for us, pencil, yeah, good. So this paper is quite thick, but the texture is, uh, you can see a little bit of texture on it, but it's still s smooth. Yeah, to be pencil, good. Yeah, good. It works really well. Five B. You can see, you can see here. Yeah, that just some drops. When I paint over the this pencil, it leaves some gray color on the edges. So I can say that it works really well, yeah, but just mix a little bit. The multiliner is good. Oh, you can see how how it works with. You can say that. It's all, all gray color now. So it mixed really, really, yeah, a lot. It mixed a lot with work color and the pen bleeds a lot. And Stadler pen is good. Yeah, the pilot bleeds. Okay, so another one. <coughs> <coughs> Canson drawing paper. So this one is mo mostly for drawing with pen and pencils. But let's try how it will work with watercolor. So it's 110 GSM and 
uh, the texture the paper is really smooth so that can mean that um, the pen that the paper won't absorb the pen a pencil so much so it can probably it will it will smudge probably not let's try <coughs> sorry okay so wash pencil works well to be pencil Good, yeah, good. No mixing, no, nothing. Five, three. Oh, yeah, mix, mix a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. But still good. Multi liner, still good. Pilot, good, no bleeding, oh no, it bleeds, okay. <laughs> Stadler pen, good, yeah, pilot bleeds, still bleeds, okay. So you can see, yep. Oh, the next one. Canson Moon Joy Green Fin Watercolor Paper. This one I use the most. So for any any kind of work. So I, I can say that mostly all works that you see in Instagram are made uh, were created on this paper. really fits my style I really enjoy working with it so usually I use usually use uh, Stadler uh, pigment liner for my sketches on this paper and also to be pencil for my grain works. So the one that you see in Instagram, yeah, this one usually do not bleed or do not mix. So they so they work really really well. So let's see. So for ash good to be yeah good and five the still good yeah it you can see it mix a little bit also you can see yeah just a, a little bit of graphite on the edges Yeah, but still good. Sorry, forgot the color. Yeah, the multi liner is good. Oh no, the pilot doesn't work good here. Just gray. Yeah, but I think of grey. Okay, I just won't just don't want to finish it. <laughs> yes, Stadler pigment liner is good. Yeah, so the pilot is awful here, works awful here. I think it's the worst of all. Oh maybe yeah, maybe we had one more with this amount of bleeding yep 
but yeah. here you can see that this uh, the 2B pencil, Sever pencil, that, that is what I usually use for my drawings, for my paintings. So um, every work, gradient work that you see is made with this pencil. So you can, you can see that it doesn't bleed, it doesn't smudge, doesn't mix. So this one is, uh, I use it on grain thin work color paper. Uh, it's 300 GSM, so it works really, really good. Oh, it's just, this is just awful. Okay, we have left uh, Canson Satin Work Out Paper, Moon Droid, 300 GSM. So let's see. So this one doesn't have, I can say it doesn't have any texture at all. It's really, really smooth. So let's see how it works, how the pencils and pens works here. I really enjoy working with pilot, but what I usually do, I work it after work color, so I never use it um, before I put the work color. So only after. So I usually uh, make a sketch or paint it with work color, and only after that I use the pilot pen. I really like the color, how it works uh, on work color paper. Yeah, but it definitely you should you should definitely use it um, before you paint it your your drawing. So let's see how it works here. So full ash pencil works pretty well on any paper, I can say. Yet to be pencil works good. And yeah, five B works yeah good as well. And now, liner, multi liner, yeah, good. Really, really good. Pilot, full, mixing, mixing, okay, and Stadler, yeah, good. Yeah, all, all three type of pencils works really, really well. And the same as Stadler, pigment liner and multi-liner, Copic multi-liner. Yeah, not the pilot. So we have two, two more. So this one is Windsor Newton watercolor paper, 200 GSM, quite textured. Yeah, let's try. Yeah, I think with the sound you can say when, when it's textured or not. Hate the sound. <laughs> so now multi liner. Sometimes pilot can work with work color, 
if you just wait until it's dry. So, wool ash pencil works good to the good as well. Yeah. And yeah, you can see we've got five five B here it mix a lot with worker so we can see the gray the gray color because of the mixing and yeah, bleeding. I can say that I think here the multiliner mix a little bit because you can see that that it becomes grayish the color. Yeah, I think it's mixed. Yeah, the same with the pilot. That it's the pilot is worse. And Stadler. Yeah, good. So now we, here we can see that, yeah, this one is a Winsor Newton watercolor paper, 200 GSM. So the 5B, the really smooth uh, pencil uh, smudges and mix with the watercolor, as well as uh, I think multi-liner, Copac multi-liner and uh, and pilot pen. So the last one is a paper from my regular sketchbook where I do all my sketches for commission works, all my sketches for my large paintings. Mm. So let's see. So all my all my I will show you all my drawings um, in this sketchbook are done with the uh, 2B pencil. Yeah, but I will show you how you can see it here. So the drawing of the girls and you can see the graphic on the other side of the page. The same is here. You can see how, yeah, how it works with the pencil. It's a 2B pencil, so it smudges, yeah, and really not good. This one, I usually don't use it with, uh, with watercolor because how the, how the pencil works on this paper, how it smudges and how it, yeah, you can see it on my on my fingers so this was 2b and 5b i think i think i use pilot in this mm, yep yeah. so here is the one of my sketches this one was made with uh, was done with the uh, pilot pen yeah I, I don't remember using work or yeah mm. and here you can see here that uh, yeah I used work color with it so it didn't really bleed so let's see how it works Uh, 
So this paper is cartridge paper, 150 GSM. It's quite thin. That's why I mostly use it for just for my sketches, not for workout sketches because it, yeah, you can see on the other side. Yeah, you can see the color on the other side. Just the, how it bleeds. Yeah, even even I can say that even two B pencil uh, bleeds a little bit on this paper. Yeah, but it's really really good for sketches. So I usually, I usually don't buy any expensive sketchbook for my for my sketch works. Yeah, for some experiments. Yeah, so I can say that 2B and 5B pencil mix with the watercolor here. Oops. Yeah, it's 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 better to use color work out to see how how it works because yeah with a gray color we can't see really can't see if it mix or not i guess but with the car with a pink color we can see if it's if it's becoming gray or not yeah the I think the multi liner work works well here. Yeah, I think that that is the only paper on which one the pilot doesn't bleed. So you can never know how the pencil or pen will work on on each paper. It can be a, an expensive paper or it can be a cheap paper. So f so f on all expensive ones, I can say that the pencil works really really well. But on this one, the this this one is the only one where the pilot works, and it doesn't bleed at all so I will show you mm, yeah I will show you here is winter Newton watercolor paper so we can see the bleeding so just to compare no bleeding here and lots of bleeding here so this one is 200 GSM so it has a lot of bleeding this one is cartridge paper 150 GSM so I can say that all work our paper, the pilot, the pilot bleeds on most of them. Here and here, this one is mixed media paper. This one is bamboo paper, just a little bit of bleeding. Mm. watercolor paper 300 gsm still a lot of bleeding and arches watercolor paper made medium texture 300 gsm so you can't see the bleeding but you can see how it changed the color of your paint so it's a little bit purple on the edges of the ink line yeah so most of them pencils works really really well. So if you have a problem with the pencil, not not a pen a pencil, if if you if it smudges or it mixes with watercolor, so 
maybe maybe that's not a watercolor paper you're using mm. or maybe it's just a different type of watercolor paper so for example canson satin watercolor works really really great with the pencil so no mixing at all uh, Winsor Newton watercolor paper 200 GSM Rick works yeah for ash and 2b pencil they works really really well on the 5b you can see a little bit of mixing so maybe maybe um, uh, the mixing depends on the pencil that you use so I, I usually use Tyler pencil, so maybe use, use another ones, Faber, Castell, or any other ones. So maybe that is a problem. So that's just a drawing paper, constant drawing paper, 110 GSM. So pencils will work really great here. Um, Canson Moulin de Roy Grain Fin, the, the one that I use usually use uh, for ash and 2b pencil works well yeah 5b gives a little bit of mixing a little bit of gray color yeah pens works really well here except a pilot yes yeah, so um, this one is Tillman burn mixed media paper uh, here as well for ash and 2b pencil they're really great with watercolor so you can use it for your sketches for your watercolor sketches the paper is quite thick yeah it's 270 gsm so it's it's good for watercolor sketches yeah 5b pencil also gives a little bit of gray color so it mix a little bit Multiliner, Copic Multiliner, and Stadler, uh, how it's called, Pigment Liner, they works well. Pilot does not look good. Mm. So the bamboo paper as well, pencils are really, really great with watercolor. And as well as pens, even, even Pilot looks good here. Uh, yeah, Eralda watercolor paper. The same, the same here. Two B and four ash, so hard and smooth. Smooth pencils are good. Works good with watercolor. No mixing, no, no, grayish color. Just on the five B, you can see just some gray pigments on the edges. Uh, multi-liner and um, pigment liner are good yeah pilot doesn't work here at all and arches watercolor paper medium texture 300 gsm works good so i can say the pencil look really really good even 5b looks good with the watercolor painting over it um, as well as pens yeah just the pilot pen gives a little bit of uh, purple pinkish color on the edges of the lines. I really hope that this one <laughs> this one was helpful for to choose the paper you want to work on with the pencils and work color with pens and work color. So just please leave the comments if this one was helpful or not or and what else would you like me to talk about and to see in in the future thank you